This tree is rigged with hundreds of TNT minecarts and it can explode in under 0.1 seconds. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I've made a little test trap, but just to show you, this is only using a few TNT minecarts. Just gonna mine this tree as it dead. The actual trap, however, is going to be 100 times bigger than this and completely inescapable. But the reason I'm doing this is because over the span of this SMP, a player called Tazo and his team have been ruthlessly bullying me and just making my life a living hell. This was going to be my revenge and it was going to be explosive. So yeah, the actual trap, though, is going to require loads of mine cuts, which means loads and loads of iron. So I'm going to have to go mining for ages. But this was a problem because after ages of mining for iron, I still had nowhere near the amount I needed. And if I couldn't get iron quick, my enemies would log off and I'd never be able to put an end to this bullying. There is one thing I could try. Okay, good. There should be everything I need here. So these are the blueprints of what I need to build. And I'm pretty sure I have all of the materials for this. By building this contraption, I would get iron for completely free, which is way faster than mining at all manually. Okay, in the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Get in the boat, Mr. Villager. Okay, one in the boat. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. He's done it. He's a genius. <gasps> yes, no. Get in, get in get in. Yes, okay. Yes, wait. I think we've done it, right? And after leaving the machine to run by itself for a bit... Oh my god. It's worked amazingly. It's worked just as planned. I was back on track with the plan, but I didn't consider how many other issues I'd run into later in this video. However, now with all of that iron, I crafted all of the minecarts I needed for the trap and stored them safely inside the chest. So I'm starting to think here is where I want to set the trap. Okay, so now I just need to get a sapling... Okay, there we go. Oak sapling. Place that there. That's gonna grow. No one's gonna survive. <laughs> Uh, however, next I needed to gather tons of gunpowder for the TNT. But because of how long gunpowder can take to get, I needed to find an efficient method of obtaining some. We're gonna build this machine here. I call it the Super Creeper Spawner. It works by spawning creepers over time and pushing them down to their deaths, leaving me with all of their gunpowder. However, this machine obviously requires tons of different materials and I do not have anywhere near the resources I need to construct this. So to be honest, I think our best idea is to steal from everyone else on the server and hope they don't find out. Okay, yes, I'm gonna need pretty much all of that cobblestone. Oh, yes, 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 I'm okay. I'm gonna need those magma blocks. Perfect. Luckily for me, nobody caught me taking these materials, and now I had everything I needed. After many nights of continuous building, it was time to see if my work had paid off. Okay, so I'm gonna come down. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm expecting a few stacks of gunpowder at least. Oh, well, I think it's fair to say we probably got enough gunpowder. And if we need any more, it shouldn't be too hard to get. Woohoo! I'd say that was rather successful. The super creeper spawner had been a success. So let's make a few more chests here next to our tree. You can put all of the gunpowder in there, store it. And I'm going to get a few more saplings because one tree in the middle of nowhere is going to look kind of suspicious. So let's just plant a bunch of these saplings around here. So yeah, this tree is going to destroy everyone. The time to kill my enemies with this trap was now becoming closer and closer, but I quickly realized I still had no way of luring them over, and especially no way of getting them to mine a random tree. But I can't let them get suspicious of me, or else they're just going to kill me. They have way better stuff than I do. I was just hoping I could think of something before my friends logged off. Oh no, I've just realized I'm gonna need hundreds of blocks of sand for the TNT. And I'm gonna need to be quick or else my friends might log off. Okay, I need to find a desert and mine sand quickly. I need to find a desert. Oh, there's still no desert. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm gonna have to get help. This was a big problem. I simply couldn't waste time trying to find a desert for much longer as my enemies could log off at any time. So I was gonna have to take a risk and ask my main bully if he could help me find a desert. And if they somehow found out about my plans, it would all be over. Hello, Enzo. You know where a desert is, right? I literally cannot find one. So it's like a thousand blocks in this direction. Now I had made it to the desert, I could mine all the sand I needed, but my time was running low, and I knew I wouldn't be able to do this by myself. So, you know, you know, Taz, I've got a fun task for you now if you're feeling up for it. Do you think you could help me mine loads and loads and loads of sand? please. Let's go. Eventually, all the sand I needed was in my possession, and my victim still hadn't quite logged off yet. After making it back to the trap location, I crafted all of the TNT, and it's fair to say we had a ton. But it was finally time to start setting up the trap that I would use to get revenge on my enemies. Okay, we have a lot of TNT. As we know, this is a tree that I'm going to be using to do the trap, and I need to make some room underneath to build the trap. Now, I could mine it, or...
Ha, huh, there we go. But despite my time running super low, the trap was now being constructed, and it was looking more dangerous than ever. <laughs> they don't even stack, which just makes this annoying to do. I mean, this amount of minecarts is already enough to kill any player in the game. We've got loads more to go. And yeah, anyone that mines this tree will certainly die. They literally won't live. It will be impossible. As I showed earlier, the second this tree gets mined, the observer will go off and set off all of these TNT minecarts, which will explode everything in under one millisecond. So, okay, so I just told my friend I'm gonna meet him. Um, I still don't know how I'm gonna lure them over, though. My enemies were way stronger than I was, so if they got suspicious, they would have no problem with killing me. But in order to lure them over to the trap, I needed a good reason. There was one thing I could think of. Luke's! Hello. So, basically, this is gonna sound kind of random. Uh, I have a cool gift for you. It's not here, so I need to take you somewhere for it. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, Luke. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, wait, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I've i got to go now. Wait, really? It's just it's only over here. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You see, my time had run out, and my victims were beginning to log off. I had to think of something fast, or else everyone would be gone. Okay, so I still need a convincing way to get my friends to come over. But I've started thinking of something. Maybe if I could somehow make a competition, like a treasure hunt, they'd come over and compete for a prize. They'd definitely do that. A hundred percent. There's no way they wouldn't. I mean, this really is my last shot. I'm just gonna have to hope and pray they'll come over. Hopefully they will, but if they don't, this whole video has been a complete bust. Guys, 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 I am here. I have arrived. So, basically for you two, my loving friends, I've got a treasure hunt for both of you. I want to see who is the, the best Minecraft player out of the two of you, essentially. Uh, are, are you up for the challenge? I'm better. Yeah. The winner gets one crafting table. Oh, shit! So we're playing for the big money here, guys. Follow me. I'll take you to the area. <laughs> I'm winning. Easy. I'm taking you to the treasure hunt location. You are in safe hands when you're with Wenzo. Don't break anything yet, guys. Essentially, this whole area, it could be anywhere. You're looking for a chest underground, okay? Gamers. Fans. Tazo. Go for the crafting table. I think it's this tree. I think I'm it's, winning. I'm yeah, winning. I'm just craft. I'm just gonna break everything. It's definitely this tree over here. All the way over here. He would hide it like this. No, 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 no. I don't know. Well, he could be lying to us. Wenzo's a big liar. Yeah, Wenzo, you're a bit of a menace to society. It's true. I am a menace. <gasps> what? <laughs> Idiot! How did you fall for that? And in this video here, I used hundreds of puffer fish to kill my biggest enemy on a Minecraft SMP. Why would I take you out here to do a random treasure hunt? Subscribe!